inaugural ceremonies for the 54th mayor of the city of Boston, Martin Joseph Walsh. Boston's motto is really a prayer. Sicit patribus nostris, sit Deus nobis. May God be with us as he was with our fathers. We would add today and with our mothers. To sing a song that I wrote after President Obama accepted the nomination in 1908. I mean, to the New World, John Winthrop declared that the new city the Puritans would found would be a city upon a hill. We are the home of the world's greatest colleges and universities, and we are the country's leader in promoting equality for all of our people. For years now, we have heard the claim that America is broke, that we cannot afford to invest in our children, that we must tell our seniors to try to get by on less. We have heard the claim that our country's future must be one of narrowing opportunities, a world in which those who are born into wealth do well, but those born in poverty have little chance to escape. That is not Boston. This is a day of new beginnings, of new challenges and new opportunities, of adventures foreseen and unforeseen. It is the day toward which you have worked and for which you have prepared. It is a day filled with celebration and anticipation. And if experience serves your honor, you won't remember any of it. <laughs> the day of my first inauguration, like the day of my wedding, is a blur. I think those people have placed their trust in a good, kind, and caring man and dedicated public servant. Please give a warm Boston welcome to Boston's own Yo-Yo Ma.
Joseph Walsh. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. To the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And will support the Constitution thereof. And will support the Constitution thereof. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. courage and champions of hope and heart. We are a city of second chances and redemption, a place where hard times have forged character throughout, throughout history. We're a city of proud families and neighborhoods with big hearts and welcoming arms that makes everyone feel like family. This past weekend, in the face of a blizzard, we came together in community service. We painted our children's schools, served meals to the homeless, shoveled out some of our neighbors. This is a city that started the revolution that gave us a nation. We fought tyranny. We stood up to slavery. We opened the doors to immigrants. And when our gay and lesbian neighbors reminded us of the rights they were now being denied, we backed up their fight and helped the Commonwealth become the first to protect those rights and law. We're in this together, every man, woman, and child. For our seniors and our students, for rich and poor, and for everyone in between. We will expand opportunities so it reaches every person in every corner of our city. We cannot tolerate a city divided by privilege and poverty. We will protect and grow our sense of community. My priorities are clear. Strengthening our economy and creating jobs improving public safety, and stopping senseless gun violence, ensuring our schools help every child to succeed, and increasing trust and transparency in city governments. There were fewer murders last year, 40 homicides in our city. And while that lower number is good news, and a testament to the hard work that has been done, we know, as Acting Police Commissioner Evans said just the other day, 40 homicides still represents 40 grieving mothers too many. And I agree. <laughs> to Laurie and her daughter Lauren, who believed in me every step of the way, thank you for standing beside me as I follow my dream and for being a part of this incredible journey. I'm so proud and lucky to have you both by my side. I love you. I am listening, and I will keep on listening. We will move Boston forward together. Thank you, God bless you, God bless this great city of Boston, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you. On this strangely warm New England winter day, O oh God, we need your blessing. As we depart this day inaugurating not only a new mayor, but another season in the story of this city on a hill, we need your blessing. Bless him with courage to help this city face the hard questions about race and class, poverty and opportunity, tradition and innovation, environment and economic development. Help him to make the difference that he must. And so we ask it of you, the God of hope and the God of miracles, as together we say, Amen.